Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is taking a look at Inventor Fusion and some of its capabilities when working with imported data and also working in conjunction with Autodesk Inventor. So you can, here you can see the Inventor Fusion interface. This is um, this gives us the capability to make use of and, and do things like isolate components, uh, views easily um, within the Inventor Fusion interface. I can operate inside of Inventor Fusion just as I would uh, Inventor with a little uh, more freeform ability uh, inside the package. So I'm going to go in here and I have the ability to be able to push and pull imported geometry, make changes to it. In this case I'm going to go ahead and add some sketch geometry. And I'm going to go ahead and move around that sketch geometry and get it to a position where I want it. And I'm going to simply select um, the area or the region that I want to cut out on this component. You'll notice that my commands are done with uh, a marking menu. I have a lot of capability within the interface to be able to drag and drop um, my menus. I can, I can show those all the time or I can hide those from view so I have full uh, screen space to be able to view exactly what I'm doing on the, on the screen here. Now as I work inside of Inventor Fusion, I can work seamlessly between Inventor Fusion and Inventor. You'll notice my marking menus give me the capability to access data quickly, different extrude and move commands. I can simply select faces within Inventor Fusion, maybe multiple faces, and you know pull those out or, or further extrude those components without even having to have built these with inside Inventor. I can grab any you know different type of file component that I can import into the Fusion interface and there's a variety of different file types I can import into the into the interface here. Now as I work with this different geometry, continue to work with it, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and activate all the different uh, views. I have the capability you know, once those changes are made inside of Inventor Fusion to be able to continue to work with that inside of Inventor. Now if I'm inside the Inventor interface I can easily pass data seamlessly between Inventor and Inventor Fusion. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm simply going to select that I want to edit the solid. It will tell me that because I have Fusion installed on my hard drive, it's going to go ahead and open that so I can simply edit the solid here if I want. And I have direct capability to, to work in a direct modeling interface. And so I'm going to go in here now, add a chamfer and push and pull that chamfer to the, to the size that I want to work with it. Return directly back into Inventor. You're going to notice that the the changes were made and are apparent inside the Inventor interface and so it makes it really easy for me to work in both environments. Now I also have the capability of making complex changes maybe to components where I don't have feature history. Inventor Fusion is going to recognize those different features that are created automatically and so I can go in here and select these different features and delete them if I want. I also have the capability of taking more complex geometry, something like this cutout here, and actually extending it around the axis and so I have full capability of making multiple or a variety of different types of of changes to my model geometry. I'll go ahead and do the same thing here on the other side and I can pass that information directly to Autodesk Inventor and work seamlessly between these interfaces and so really we're giving everyone the power to be able to change any type of model between Inventor and Inventor Fusion.